Imagine a natural force so immense that it has the potential to drastically alter the world's climate, obliterate ecosystems, and threaten millions of lives. This powerful force lies hidden beneath our planet, waiting for the right time to unleash its fury. The Apalachi Caldera, recently discovered and now recognized as the world's largest known caldera, represents a significant threat. Although it may not be as famous as the Yellowstone or Toba supervolcanoes, its potential impact on the Earth should not be underestimated. In today's video, let's delve into the dangers of the Apalachi Caldera, compare it with the Yellowstone Caldera, and explore the devastating consequences of a possible eruption. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. First, let's compare the Apalachi Caldera and the Yellowstone Caldera. We'll explore the similarities and differences between these two geological giants by examining their locations, sizes, structural formation processes, potential eruption impacts, and historical eruption records. The Yellowstone Caldera is situated in Yellowstone National Park, which extends across parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho in the United States. Primarily located in northwest Wyoming, it is part of the Greater Yellowstone Plateau. Meanwhile, the Apalachi Caldera is located on the Benham Rise, an underwater volcanic plateau in the Philippine Sea, east of the Philippines' main island, Luzon. Due to its underwater location, the Apalachi Caldera is hard to reach and is therefore studied less compared to Yellowstone. The Yellowstone Caldera measures approximately 55 kilometers in diameter and is one of the world's most significant active volcanic systems, renowned for its geothermal features such as geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles. In contrast, the Apalachi Caldera is much larger, with an estimated circumference of about 150 kilometers making it the largest known caldera on Earth and dwarfing the massive Yellowstone caldera. Apalachi is so large that no comparison is available on Earth. Scientists had to draw on comparisons with calderas from Venus and Mars. The Yellowstone caldera features a complex structure, including a vast depression caused by the collapse of a magma chamber following massive eruptions. The area is renowned for its high degree of geothermal activity, indicating the presence of a large active magma chamber beneath the surface. The Apalachi caldera also has a complex structure, including a wide bowl-shaped depression typical of calderas. Its underwater location adds additional layers of complexity, with volcanic features such as vents, lava domes, and hydrothermal systems. The caldera floor is predominantly composed of basaltic rock, reflecting a history of fluid lava eruptions. Over the last 2.1 million years, three massive volcanic eruptions have shaped the Yellowstone caldera. These eruptions were so immense that they emptied the magma chamber beneath, causing the ground above to collapse and form the caldera. The most recent of these eruptions occurred approximately 640,000 years ago. In comparison, detailed historical eruption records for the Apalachi caldera are rare due to its underwater location and relatively recent discovery. Ongoing geological research and sediment analysis aim to uncover the region's volcanic activity history, but much more remains to be learned about the timing and frequency of past eruptions. But it is possible that the formation of such a large caldera likely involved a cataclysmic eruption in the distant past, possibly during the early stages of the Pacific Plate's evolution. An explosion from the Yellowstone caldera would have catastrophic consequences, potentially ejecting massive volumes of volcanic ash into the atmosphere. This could lead to a volcanic winter, drastically lowering Earth's temperatures. The ash fallout would devastate crops, disrupt air travel, and pose significant health risks due to respiratory issues. In contrast, an eruption of the Apalachi caldera would also be devastating but would come with additional challenges due to its underwater location. Such an eruption could trigger massive tsunamis, causing severe damage to coastal areas. To understand what might trigger an eruption of the Apalachi caldera, it is essential to delve into geological processes, tectonic activity, magma dynamics, and the unique conditions of its underwater setting. 
the movement of the Earth's lithospheric plates can create significant stress within the Earth's crust. The Apalaki caldera is situated on the Philippine Sea Plate, which interacts with several other plates, including the Eurasian and Pacific plates. The convergence of these plates can generate considerable geological stress. The subduction of the Philippine Sea Plate beneath neighboring plates can lead to stress accumulation and magma formation. The melting of subducted oceanic crust can produce magma, which may eventually rise to the surface. Tectonic movements can also trigger earthquakes, which can fracture the crust and create pathways for magma to ascend. A major earthquake in the region could potentially trigger an eruption by disrupting the magma chamber beneath the Apalaki caldera. The continuous injection of fresh magma into the chamber from deeper within the Earth's mantle increases pressure. If the rate at which magma is injected exceeds the rate at which it escapes, the pressure will continue to rise. When the pressure in the magma chamber exceeds the strength of the surrounding rock, the rock can fracture. These fissures can create pathways for magma to reach the surface, potentially leading to an explosive eruption. When seawater comes into contact with magma, it can trigger explosive volcanic activity. This happens because the interaction causes rapid water evaporation and fragmentation of magma, leading to highly explosive eruptions. Such violent eruptions are characteristic of underwater volcanic environments. Clusters of minor to moderate earthquakes, known as earthquake swarms, can precede volcanic eruptions. An increase in tremor activity may suggest that magma is ascending toward the surface. While less common, human activities such as deep sea drilling, geothermal energy extraction, or explosive detonation can potentially disrupt the magma chamber or impact the structural stability of a caldera. The discovery of the Apalaki caldera has sparked both awe and concern within the scientific community, as it presents a potentially significant geological hazard. The possibility of an eruption from this colossal caldera raises critical questions about its impact on the region and the broader global environment. The presence of Apalaki raises concerns not only because of its size, but also due to its location in a highly active seismic and volcanic region. The Philippine Sea Plate is constantly being subducted beneath the surrounding tectonic plates, creating a volatile environment where earthquakes and volcanic activity are common. This tectonic activity could potentially trigger an eruption from the Apalaki caldera, leading to catastrophic consequences. Another potential trigger could be the accumulation of magma within the caldera itself. Over time, magma chambers can build up significant pressure as new magma is supplied from deep within the earth. If this pressure exceeds the strength of the overlying rock, it can result in a violent eruption. Given the size of the Apalaki caldera, the volume of magma involved could be immense, leading to a supervolcanic event. The consequences of an eruption from the Apalaki caldera would be profound and far-reaching. The most immediate impact would be felt in the surrounding regions, particularly in the Philippines and neighboring countries. A massive eruption could generate powerful tsunamis, devastating coastal areas and potentially leading to significant loss of life. The Philippines, being an archipelago with many low-lying coastal areas, would be particularly vulnerable to such a disaster. In addition to tsunamis, the eruption would likely produce large amounts of volcanic ash and gas. The release of ash into the atmosphere could have severe consequences for air travel and agriculture, as ash clouds can spread over large areas, disrupting flights and contaminating crops. Furthermore, the sulfur dioxide released during the eruption could lead to acid rain, damaging ecosystems and water supplies across a wide region. The global climate could also be affected by an eruption from the Apalaki caldera. Supervolcanic eruptions have been known to inject vast quantities of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, which can lead to a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. This occurs when the sulfur dioxide forms aerosols that reflect sunlight away from the Earth, leading to a temporary cooling of the planet's surface. Such an event could have significant implications for global food production and weather patterns, potentially leading to widespread famine and social unrest. 
While the likelihood of an eruption from the Apalachi caldera in the near future remains uncertain, it is still crucial for the international community to take proactive steps to mitigate the possible risks. This involves improving our understanding of the caldera through continued research and monitoring. Seismic and volcanic monitoring stations should be established in the region to detect any signs of increased activity. Emergency preparedness is also essential. Countries in the region should develop comprehensive disaster response plans that include evacuation procedures, early warning systems, and public education campaigns. International cooperation will be vital in coordinating efforts and sharing resources to effectively respond to such a disaster. On a broader scale, the potential eruption of the Apalachi Caldera serves as a reminder of the unpredictable and often devastating power of nature. It underscores the importance of investing in scientific research and preparedness to mitigate the impacts of natural disasters. While we cannot prevent such events, we can take steps to reduce their impact and protect vulnerable populations.